Shalom. These are the days to celebrate, well, Pharaoh. And uh, that's because he invented uh, the faith of everybody, love everybody. Hey, I got a ring up here too. Mine says love. Think about that. Everybody love everybody! Hey, that's a good deal. Forget about all the religion and the rules and this and that and the other thing and all the arguments that go along with it. And just everybody loves everybody. That's a good one. So Will Ferrell's keeping his eyes on us. And it's time to celebrate the originator. I know he didn't write the script, but he is the first one that said it. So E-L-E, E-L-E. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if we will, E-L-E, -E, everybody love everybody, then the kingdom age fullness actually can come. My name is Daniel. I, I, I've dipped my wings in the blood of the lamb slain before the foundation of the earth. And I live right across from Detroit City. And so praise the Lord. It's time to move along. And the Lord's voice is resounding again all over the earth. It was foretold that God's word was only closed until the time of the end. Daniel 12, 9 had to open, which is the shattering of the power of the holy people. Daniel 12, 7 had to open because of the message of Christ, uh, the second coming of his word as Matthew 24, Christ on a cloud. That's the same cloud as Revelation 14, the Lord sending forth his everlasting gospel into the world with his everlasting covenant, and I am that writer. So everybody loved everybody is an awfully good way to, uh, to go. And the truth of it is this, that this channel has proven um, that religious people are not loving and are all disobedient to the Spirit. I have been preaching prophecy and of prophecy. Uh, Muhammad said, uh, we all have no ground to stand upon unless we stand upon the gospel of love, the law, and all revelation coming unto us from the Lord. But people are so apostate, they will not even look. They have no ears to hear anything about prophecy. And meanwhile, that renders all the religion in this world totally obsolete because of apostasy. And uh, I have uh, 6,500 videos and I got 13 subscribers at one channel that's got 3,200 and I've got, uh, well, 300 over the other. But, you know, the bottom line is I'm not complaining. I knew I would be ignored. Isaiah 49, 4 said everything I, I would do would be in vain. That was never Christ Jesus. And it was also foretold that Israel would also ignore me, Isaiah 41. But the rest of the world will come to realize I'm right, it says. Uh, because this has been taught since the beginning of time. Uh, Genesis 49, 12, one whose eyes are red and dull of wine has come. So the truth is that uh, I've been for 6,000 videos letting Israel know that they have now been named Chrislam. Isaiah 62, 2 foretold their kingdom age name when the Lord gives them their new covenant. He says, I will be their God. They will be my people and all families of Israel shall be mine. And that is the days of the kingdom age when the Lord has given his covenant to them and all mankind. And because of that, they have inherited all mankind, Isaiah 54, three. That's why they're called Chrislam because they have inherited all the um, um, uh, religious cr Christians who are uh, loving ones who are born again because that's born again. Those who love are born of God and born again and know God because God is love. And they've tried to define it. All the religions have tried to define it. If you believe, you're going to be saved. No, bullshit. Uh, because many are going to say, Lord, Lord, I did this. I believed. I did this. I did that. And he's going to say, I don't know you. You, you committed unforgivable sin, blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, you let your love light go out. And if we do, that is the road of perishing. I'm not preaching anything that anyone else is not. But I'm preaching Christ's message of no condemnation in this earth. And it's time that people reverse the curse 
by number one, stop ignoring this guy. I have Christ's message in my mouth. So know that only love divine bestows the keys of uh, knowledge. And it's time that we get with that program because our souls have been made from all the purest love in the universe. And we can't get any closer to heaven than, than that, that's for sure. So we all need to become messengers of the divine uh, and of love and of truth. For in these days of Elijah, the restoration of all things, I can honestly tell everyone that he who comes to feed the master's household meat is here. Uh, Jesus foretold that Elijah would have some heavy stuff that he would be preaching. And so praise God, this is the Latter-day Mountain of Isaiah 2, Micah 4, on which people must beat their, their distortional sword of the Spirit into the undistortional uh, sickle of love. This is foretold uh, because the truth is all the creation has been under gross darkness and the gross darkness has affected our understandings of what it means to be a child of God and we have been clouded over with so many distortional looking through a glass darkly uh, false stuff uh, so now the wise may shine as the stars in the days of the latter day Daniel because the truth is there has never been any divine love upon planet earth unless it was unconditional well ask yourself the question what glory could there possibly be in any kind of love that's commanding, demanding, uh, impatient, and uh, condemning and, and, and critical all the time? Is that love? And because I'm preaching this, the world does not want to hear the truth because it's hurting some people's heads. These are days that would burn as an oven as the Lord's refiner's fire uh, comes because he has revealed that he has always loved each and every one of us totally equally and that he's never had any favoritism so it's time that the world repents of of, of their uh, heresy their blasphemy of spitting at this channel and me because the truth is that Christ foretold that he would arise as the good shepherd over all the flocks of man John 10 in the days of Elijah this would happen and Elijah would bring restoration knowledge which would kickstart the um, kingdom age so that people could gather upon the latter day mountain as Isaiah 25 says and there would be a banquet of good food and all those not uh, embracing the kingdom age glory peace and hope uh, that is being published in Malachi 2 in preparation for the word of his message written by him his inspiration his word and wouldn't you know that his message that prepares his own way is the same exact message that he prayed for in Gethsemane his most passionate one and all opposing that are spitting in his face and people don't like that I'm saying that but it is true because he desires all people to arise in a brotherhood of love um, Baba Vanga, a, a prophetess, foretold that, like the Bible itself, that all religion on earth shall crumble and to take its place will, would arise a, a great brotherhood of love and all over the circle of earth it would be like uh, Lily of the Valley and Rose of Sharon all over and so sweet is the fragrance of peace and hope. But God uh, says in Malachi 2 that all those who will not exalt that which is good because the Bible says uh, Paul wrote uh, in Thessalonians that concerning prophecy all must be inspected most carefully and all that is good embraced people will not even look at it uh, this is a world of obsolete religion where people have no mind or just totally brainwashed and if it's not tickling their ears immediately they don't want to know about it and so they just tune out and ignore and, but praise God that even though the world has been ignoring me, I know the destiny of this restoration that I'm bringing will bring the kingdom age yet when people start to believe. So it's time to understand that love is from the infinite and it will remain until eternity can never end. Uh, and so know that uh, 
all seekers of love escapes the chains of birth and death tomorrow, today. And uh, so praise God that love will never fail the test because love alone, divine love, has always been a bridge to connect. Mankind has not been separated by sin as it is taught. We are separated by God from lack of love, loving ways. That is what separates us, not, uh, not sin, because the Lord says, I will be your God. You will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity. I will never remember. I write my law and my love upon your hearts. Beyond that, no one will ever need to be taught of me anymore, for all people shall know me from the least to the greatest. And Paul wrote in Hebrews 8, when you hear those words, all uh, religion on earth is obsolete. I am a writer, and that was foretold, the strong and mighty one, line by line, precept by precept, as a destroying storm, pulling down distortionality. And uh, the writer of the Flying Scroll, Zechariah 5, God picks an alcoholic. Uh, read it, Zechariah 3. Uh, the Flying Scroll is the everlasting gospel of Revelation 14. It's the same thing. we got to connect like with like extrapolation. Um, these are the days of all revelation being uh, connected. Uh, but if we don't know how to connect them, like uh, example is that the, the word of Matthew 24, Christ on the cloud, is the same word as Revelation 14. Um, COVID-3 is foretold in two places. Uh, Revelation 3, the trial of all flesh, coming to keep, bring God's word of patience to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change by his love. And second to that, it's in uh, Daniel 12. Uh, these are the days of the distress of all nations as uh, a time of great distress as uh, since before the nations ever were. So there has never been a, a worldwide plague, uh, not a pandemic like this. So these are the times to understand that there are higher truths out there that people have not gotten. And all people have been looking through the glass darkly, distortionally, because God allowed things vague and for a reason. But he knew he would pull the kingdom age curtain in the end by his messenger that is giving his word. And unless people listen to that, this earth will be destroyed in days of Noah. Zephaniah 1.1 says it, it proves a different uh, uh, oblivion than what we know of in Noah's day because uh, what's coming is the death of all mankind, all the birds and all the fish. All the fish will be dead. All the fish. That's what it says. That is a totally brand new oblivion. But praise God, uh, it's not... Prophecy hasn't been told to tell the future, but to change it. Re Revelation is found in Jonah 3. Jonah was told, go tell Nineveh, they will be destroyed in 40 days, thus saith God. And God relented, it says so, because the people did repent. Well, once again, he's offering the world exactly what I'm saying right now. Only one place in the word of God, it says this, and this shall be considered in the latter days. Uh, Jeremiah 30, 24, that the Lord God has now called Israel, Chrislam, because they've inherited all mankind. So it's time to get along with everybody, love everybody, because human love is needing the others. Divine love is giving to the others. And it's time that we learn the difference between the two because God is love and he is within us and we can be within him if we will walk with the spirit mutually and in love for those who love are born again of God and know God because God is love so know that you you are a divine child of light every single one of us are so we all need to get out there and we need to start shining and this is this is paramount and uh, so praise the Lord that um, the time has come where the Lord is putting all of his uh, cards on the table because love is divine and he is love it's not of ourself lest any man be able to boast um, and so I don't care what you are what you think what you think you think 
it doesn't matter if you are loving whatever you are you are a born again if your heart hurt is moving as a little child if you have passionate love because the lord wants to puke out of his mouth all those that are lukewarm if you're not hot and heavy and passionate about love uh you're, you're dead you're just you have no faith you stand in the land of the walking dead where where all, all you are is having a form of godliness but denying the power of love and so we need to smarten up because divine love wants to play us like instruments like saint francis of assisi wrote that we should be asking the lord to make us instruments of his love so that we can be finely tuned within the great orchestra of life these are the days of his harmony flowing and the glory of god will cover the earth as waters cover the sea as grass cover the lands as sand cover the most desolate of deserts and as snow covers the alps because the glory of love is all in all and all calling upon the name of the lord shall be saved watch the video of the deathbed confession of anton lavey and on his deathbed, the Lord raised him up, introduced himself as love. And Anton, he was like, oh my God, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? But it was too late. He had already written and started the Church of Satan. So uh, if, if he was honest, he would tell you he regrets it now. I guarantee you. So praise the Lord that divine love is real, it's powerful, it's timeless, it's irresistible, and that is what we are if we are awakened to the truest truth. And it's time that we all get along in the sandbox together. And um, that is what the kingdom age has foretold that will come in these days. So it's time to realize that spirituality must be raised up while distortional religiosity is pulled down. That alone is the um, appointment of Jeremiah 1.10 uh, in Haggai 2.2. 2. That is why the strong and mighty one, uh, line by line, precept by precept, would be a destroying storm because uh, I'm going to end this with uh, this truth. That is why our carpenter of the age is the tongue. His tongue is the rod of his mouth. It's the hammer of God. And our renovating restoration majesty of majesty our carpenter of the ages in acts 3 21 it is written that if his restoration of love his latter day one does not happen that he's kept in reserve in heaven and cannot even return instead we will end up having the destruction of uh isaiah 24 the earth in pieces uh, zephaniah 1 the end of all life uh, Deuteronomy 18, 18, one like Moses would come, a kingdom age covenant giver, a writer, and another Exodus leader. I am the leader of the Exodus of the wheat, uh, leaving the tares, because the wheat cannot grow together with the tares anymore, because the Lord has now arisen immediately as the good shepherd over all the flocks of man, because when the seven trumpets sounded first, because the first is last, and last is first, all nations became the Lord's. So know well that the fire that we call loving is far too strong for human minds, but it is just right for our souls. And so it's time that uh, it's never been too late uh, to become that which we have been called to be, but we cannot even become that which we need to be unless we leave our comfort zones. We must go out into the deep. The priceless pearl of great reward is calling. Deep calls unto deep. He is the treasure of excellence and the excellence of treasure. And we must go out into the deep because the winds of his blessedness will fill our sails. And the, the tide is with us of new understandings. If only we will have brains to want what God wants us to want. <laughs> Good luck with that one.